again, I start here. Um, I'm discussing some of the specifics of how I personally have had dif difficulty accessing over-the-counter birth control to shed light on access needs. So in the last video I discussed how being trans uh, affects my access needs, and in this video I'm going to discuss how my disabilities affect my access needs. I have both mental and physical disabilities that can at times make it difficult for me to leave the house to run seemingly simple errands, which can and does at times include picking up medication. However, currently I have my birth control mailed to my home, which helps me avoid gaps in my medicine regimen that would occur if I were too ill or exhausted to make it to the pharmacy. This is so, so important, especially because I am on low estrogen birth control. I have to take my birth control every single day, or like if I miss even one day, it'll throw off my entire um, cycle, basically. So yeah, it's very essential that I'm able to be accommodated in order to have my needs met. And last, but certainly not least, my financial standing can create a barrier between myself and accessing birth control. Because I am disabled, I struggle to work regularly, and um, even the jobs that I am able to work, I am limited in how often I can work them. However, there is an organization that helps me access my birth control for free, so no matter my financial standing, I'm able to regularly, consistently access my birth control, which is such a blessing. I'm so grateful that I received so much help overcoming various obstacles that have barred me from accessing birth control in the past, and I absolutely look forward to a future where everyone is able to access birth control with ease.